Hey guys, back here with Teach at Home. Today I just thought I'd give you my thoughts after our first week of using a Becca Academy. So I'd just like to go over a few things that I liked and a few things that were kind of a pain or a bit of a concern. So, um, it is a bit of a different method for us. Um, it's mostly DVDs, if you don't know. And, um, It's kind of nice because it kind of gives you a set time frame that the teaching is going to be in, um, but you know there's still extra work after so you're not done within that time frame. The first day we started we did video, then we did the work, we did the video, we did the work, and it seemed like it was a longer day doing it that way. Um, so then we switched to the second day because he really hated that. We did all the videos, um, no, that's not true, we did some of the videos and then he did a little bit of work because there wasn't enough time before lunch to continue on and do another video. So I had him watch videos and then do some work, we did lunch, and then we did more videos and then he finished his work. And that seemed to go faster. Um, and then Wednesday I think we did all the videos and then did all the work at the end except, you know, there was lunch in there. So, um, the first day didn't work well when we did the videos, the work, videos work. It just seemed longer that way, so I don't think we're going to do it that way again. Um, mixing it up between having some work done in the middle and then doing the rest, or just doing it all at the end, I think it'll just depend on our schedule and what our day is like. Um, Tuesday when we did it with a little bit of work here, a little bit of work there, it was because um, he had something he wanted to go to later in the day, so it was easier to get it all done that way. Um, Wednesday we didn't have anything for him until after dinner, so we just um, did all the work and then had him do it all before dinner, and it worked out that way. So um, it just depends on the day, I guess, and we're just going to do it whatever works best for that. Um, I really like um, the different teachers. Um, you know, one guy's kind of funny and he tries to make it fun, even though, you know, some of, it's, it's history, um, his history, um, the instructor for that is really kind of fun. Um, some of the ladies are a little bit perky, but that's okay. Um, I don't like that when I'm following the instruction booklets, um, first of all, there's tons of words. So not having used them before, um, generally even when there's like teacher instruction things, I usually don't get those, I just do it my own way kind of thing. Um, and always have, there's been maybe one or two subjects and they weren't a Becca that I've used those for. So um, it's really an adjustment for me as well with the teaching materials they've included. And um, the instructions aren't always right. So like I would get a little bit confused I'd be like okay here sit and watch the video and it would say like the quiz will be taken with the class and then they kind of just I would be waiting for that and then they're like oh take the quiz and come back so it really wasn't with the class I mean it was supposed to be that way just I think for a few of the first quizzes or tests and it wasn't I mean it would have just been easier if it said give them the quiz now or whatever um, so I was kind of anticipating something different than what they gave me in the book. Um, and I noticed later on in the week they had stuff in the reading for like it would say homework check. Well I would just go and check the homework. I guess it was kind of my fault. I didn't read all the instructions but I thought homework check was basically self-explanatory. I didn't know they had hidden exercises into that spot where it said homework check because if it was being done in an actual classroom they would want the students working on these extra problems while they're going around the class checking everybody's homework and so for the first few days James didn't do those extra problems and I didn't make him go back and do them but the next couple days what I did was I just pushed I would just have the following days work I would bring it so it was the previous day's 
part of the previous day's homework at, um, to do after the video. And that way it would be done, and that way we wouldn't have to sit around, because he didn't really like having to do it in the beginning, and it didn't make sense for us as, you know, just uh, a single student kind of thing. Um, he thinks that the quizzes are kind of excessive. I don't know, I kind of maybe agree, because they're just, they seem like every other day. And, you know, when you've got, what, five, five different subjects, um, that's a lot of quizzes. And then we also have logic, which is going to be, you know, a separate quiz, and I think they have one of those every week. But we had a grammar quiz, and a world literature quiz, and they had a pop quiz, and they had, you know, two different physics quizzes, and that's just the first week. You know, there's five days, so, you know, it's kind of a lot, I think. Um, I think he's more used to, I would do more spread out and have more on a quiz than just, you know, five to ten questions. So, I guess it balances out no matter, we, no matter which way you do it, but we're just not used to doing so many throughout the week or whatever, the way it's um, planned out via a Becca Academy. So, um, a lot of times what I would do when I was using a Becca materials and teaching by myself, I would teach maybe half the chapter and give two or three quizzes at once. I'd just staple them together and say, here you go. Or, you know, wait till the end of the chapter and give them all the quizzes, kind of like a review kind of thing before you did the test. Um, so, it's a little bit different. Some I would space out and do, but I wouldn't have it as often as they seem to have it planned. So I'm just trying to stick to what they have planned. Um, I think if I go in and just start rearranging everything, it's just going to be really stressful and it's not going to work with the DVDs and it's just going to be a big pain. So I don't want to do that. Um, one thing I really don't like is the classes seem really, really rushed. It's like, okay, let's grade the quizzes, and then she's rushing, 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 rushing. I'm like, dude, you barely have time to read the answer, um, because you're flying through it so much. Some of the things are like, oh, let's do this, oh, let's do this. They're jumping between things so quickly, and I don't know if that's for the sake of keeping the video to a certain time length, or if that's for the sake of their actual in-class time that they're allotted, because it is like an actual class. So maybe because they only have, you know, 45 minutes, they've got to get all this stuff in. And I understand that, but it just seems really stressful and rushed from my perspective. Um, when I went to high school, we did block scheduling. So we had, you know, 85 minutes in a class and we only had like four classes a day. So it was never rushed like that. Um, we did have shorter classes in middle school. But I don't remember them being so rushed through. So, I don't know. I'm not going to sit there and say, Oh, can you do block scheduling? Because it'll be easier. But, um, it might be. I don't know. One thing I do really like about Abeka Academy is the way it incorporates um, Bible teaching into all the lessons. Um, I know the teachers bring it up a lot and apply it to whatever they're specifically teaching. Um, the English teacher um, specifically brought up general um, work ethics and how um, you're doing school work for God and how you should do your best because you're going to have to answer to God one day. And I really, really like that because, you know, coming from a parent, it doesn't mean as much when you say that. You know, I've tried to tell them that kind of thing before, but maybe coming from someone else it'll mean more and like maybe stick, you know? So, um, we'll have to see. I don't know. Um, something we didn't like about Spanish too was they were teaching the verb conjugation out of order from the way we've seen it with anything else. Um, I took five years of Spanish. I did 8th grade through 12th grade when I was in school and I also took 
um, a couple semesters in college and he's done a lot of different Spanish classes and activities and we've never ever seen the conjugations done the way they were and are done in Spanish too. So it's kind of confusing because you kind of get into a rhythm of doing them. You know, um, I don't know if you've taken Spanish or not, but they do the singular conjugations on one side, they do the plural conjugations on another, and here they do it single, single, plural, single, single, plural, and I don't really know, I guess maybe they're just pushing the plural to the bottom, but they don't even do it as a typical, um, like I don't know if you've ever seen foreign language conjugation. They basically have a chart and it's two columns and it's three columns down. And then you have I, you, familiar, and then he, she, you, um, formal. And then you have we and then you have they. And it's like a, uh, there's also like a, another form you don't always use in there, um, the vosotros form. but. Um, she does it, so it's I, you, informal, we, he, she, you, formal, they. And they don't do it as a chart form, they just go straight down the list. So it's kind of a problem just in terms of what he's already learned. And I, when I was kind of listening from afar, I was sitting there going, what are, what are they doing? I don't really understand why they chose to do it that way. We didn't do Spanish 1 with the Becca, so I don't know the reasoning behind that. Um, I could probably call and ask, but they're really probably sick of me calling and asking them things because I've asked them every question under the sun since signing up for a Becca Academy and we've had a lot of issues regarding, you know, the shipping and getting signed up and our start dates being changed and I'm just I don't want to talk to them again because they probably have like a note on this one's annoying or something. I don't know. Um, with the science, which um, he's taking physics this year, um, we're not doing a traditional high school um, order of sciences. Normally you do biology, well, some people do uh, earth science, biology, um, chemistry, physics. I've actually switched around. He did earth science in eighth grade and then last year I had him do chemistry and this year I'm having him do physics and then next year he'll do biology. Um, one reason I'm doing this is because he prefers chemistry and physics. Um, so I thought I'd get, you know, get him into high school doing the ones he really likes and then bring him into biology which he doesn't like as much. But I've also read that it's easier to do biology after you've taken chemistry because there is some chemistry in biology and then um, physics. So um, it kind of worked for me so I said why not we're going to do it that way. Um, so physics is technically they consider it an elective class. I don't even think it's required um, and technically I think it's more for like 11th, 12th grade but um, the minimum math you have to take for it is Algebra 1. So this very first week of physics has been really, really basic math and it seems like some of the things they're explaining they shouldn't even have to go over. Um, maybe if they go over them, not spend a whole lot of time on it, but um, one thing they did, they were teaching how to read a ruler and a meter stick. That's something I taught my son probably the first or second year we were homeschooling. So it was kind of like, whoo. And then um, just some of the math is just, I don't really know if he needs to be teaching it or not. Maybe he just feels that for those who haven't had a lot of math that it's better to make sure everybody's on the same page, which I can understand, but I don't know if, you know, several days of it is necessary. Other than that, it's kind of been a rocky week. We're kind of getting our footing in this um, curriculum method. Um, my son is not happy with Abeka Academy. Um, he thinks, you know, some of the teachers are boring. Sorry, guys. Um, 
he likes to talk almost the whole tape to the people on the video. He doesn't like doing some of the things on the videos. Um, one of his big complaints is singing the hymns. We go to a, um, a more modern church that does more rock. It's not like extreme, but it's more modern music. And obviously the hymns are kind of done in the old style. Um, that was another problem. Um, we found in the videos, they do the hymns. And they're like, okay, we're going to sing hymn. And they give you a title, but they don't give you a number. And the hymns aren't in order. And they do have an alphabetical listing, which is in the back of the book. So you kind of got to be on your toes or pause the video or go back because they're already like into, you know, the second line or something by the time you get it open. Um, so he doesn't like participating in the singing of the hymns very much. But um, we're working on it. I guess we'll just see how this upcoming week goes. This week is going to be a little bit of a challenge because even though we did kind of find a good rhythm last week, um, we got to put math into the mix now. Um, like I said last week, we were just, um, you know, getting our footing in a Becca Academy. In math, we do Saxon, which we're doing the second half of Advanced Mathematics. So nothing has changed with that for us. But now it's just a matter of fitting that into our day with everything else. Um, the videos are fairly short for math. Usually no more than 20 minutes, and most of them are shorter than that. So that's not going to be an issue. It's just he's going to have more work at the end of the day. So I don't think that's generally a problem. It's just he might have work after dinner, which he hasn't had yet. So I don't know how it's going to go with his attitude. <laughs> so other than that, those are just my thoughts on it. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll try to answer what I can. Thanks!